is determined to make sure that we uphold it. On Keystone, I guess I want to drill down a little bit um, on uh, what Mara was saying before. Uh, what Tara saying? <laughs> when you answered Mara, I think you were saying specifically you were talking about the House bill. I just want to make sure this veto threat is the door open to supporting some. I mean, I know you can't comment on every possibility, every variation, but is it only a veto threat on the House version, or pretty much the president is saying you put something on my desk on, on Keystone, I'm vetoing? Well. Uh, let me say a couple things about that. The, f the first thing is I, I am under the impression that both the House version and the Senate version are the same. So essentially the veto threat would apply to both. Uh, the second thing is th it, there's an important principle at, at, at stake here, and I think that's what I would you know, try to articulate in, in answering your question, which is there is a well-established process for evaluating projects, transportation infrastructure projects like this, uh, that go across international borders. Uh, and that, this, that these kinds of projects in the past, and even in previous administrations, have been evaluated by the State Department and other relevant government agencies to determine whether or not the completion of these infrastructure projects is in the clear best interest of the United States. Uh, we believe that is the right way for determining uh, the future of the Keystone Pipeline. Now, the thing that has inhibited the evaluation of that project uh, is the fact that the route of that pop pipeline hasn't been completed. Uh, that there still is a disagreement in Nebraska about what the proper route through that state should be. So uh, it would be premature to try to evaluate the project before uh, something as basic as the route of the pipeline has been established. I understand the state aspect, but okay. on the State Department piece of this and, mm -hmm. and cross-border, as you know, the State Department's been studying this two, three years. Yeah. I understand it's a serious issue. It needs careful study. Mm -hmm. How many years are you going to study the project before you say yay or nay? Well, we're going to w make sure that we've, we know what the root of the pipeline is before we render ju judgment about whether or not it should be completed. idea of the pipeline. I understand the exact uh, maps have been drawn. I mean, this has been, again, yeah. studied two, three, four years. Yeah. Well, and that's because the root of the pipeline has changed a number of times because of the legal proceedings in Nebraska. So, look, Ed, this has been something that has been uh, simmering for a little while here. And uh, the administration has done a lot of work on this. I think that is how you can tell that whatever uh, decision is eventually reached by the administration will be one that is... Uh, reflects the kind of careful reflection and investigation that's been conducted already. Uh, but again, we're not going to render judgment on the pipeline project until the pipeline project has been, uh, uh, you know, has been, uh, until a final project has been put forward. More big picture.